This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, guys. So yesterday we have completed the CRUD operations. And in today's class, we are going to see a scenario, so which is very common in a real time. I can say the most used scenario in the real time, and that is header and line items. So when you have a header entity and a line item entity, Okay, so how to create the association between them? And most importantly, you will be in the front end, you will be showing the line items corresponding to a header. Means you want to show the suppliers of a corresponding product. For example, I want to show the suppliers of laptop. I want to show the suppliers of washing machine. I want to show, show the suppliers of uh, uh, water filter okay so if you want to show suppliers of a particular product so how this association will help and how you can create a material along with its suppliers that means when you are creating the material at the time itself suppliers should also get created how can you do that so for all these the answer is association so you need to create the association between the entities okay and uh, a few more uh, you know things need to be done from the from the you know model uh, mpc class that we'll see you know slowly so let us start and create the association between the entities here so create to create the association between the entities so you can again right click on the data model you can go to create and select association so first go to the edit mode select the project so it is in the display mode so right click create association so you need to give some association name you can give any any name here so i am giving uh, products to suppliers PRD to SUP. So here you need to give the relation between these two entities. So principal entity means which is the parent entity. So what is our parent entity? Products. And entity type of the, you know, uh, type name of the dependent entity. So what is my dependent entity? Supplier. So select suppliers. Now, what is the cardinality? Means one product can have any number of suppliers. It cannot, it may not have any number of suppliers, it can have n number of suppliers. So zero to n. Okay, so that relation you need to define here. Okay, and here it is asking a navigation property. So what is this navigation property that you will understand in two minutes? First, define some navigation property. Every navigation property should start with two, followed by the child entity, two suppliers. Okay, this is just a naming convention again. You can give any name, but if you give this name with uh, you know starting with the two and followed by the child entity two suppliers it will have a meaning uh, so that why we need to give like this you will understand in couple of minutes so just hold on okay so navigation property is the most important property to get the suppliers of a corresponding product okay so how you will understand as i told you so just wait for a while so you need to define this navigation property. It is very important, guys. And the navigation property should have, you know, it should start with the two followed by the child entity, remember. So I'm telling those many times because it is very important. So click next. And now you need to... So you need to select, uh, you know, uh, the referential constraint. So in order to 
create the association so you need to define you know it's like a join between two tables okay so what is the uh, referential constraint uh, in this particular supplier table it's again the product id so select product id so basically the association is looks for a you know if you want to create an association between two tables means two entities there should be a common property there should be a foreign key in the uh, dependent entity so which is nothing but the product id again okay so if i don't have the product id in the suppliers so i cannot find who are the suppliers of a particular product okay so we need to select that referential constraint which is nothing but product id so click next and finish so now a association an association has been created so on the referential constraint product id you can see here just generate the runtime objects again so the runtime objects has been generated now let's go to the url of the odata service to find out few interesting things now let us see the dollar metadata again so this is uh, my metadata document and if you observe in the products entity it is showing all the fields of the product entity as usually but along with that it is also showing something called navigation property and the navigation property to suppliers okay so what is the significance of this the significance of this is if you want to know the suppliers of a corresponding product this particular navigation property will you, will help helpful okay so what is the url from the front end you need to trigger if you want to get the suppliers of a corresponding product okay so first answer me this one i will ask a question here so try to answer if i hit this particular url can anybody tell me what is the method in the back end that gets triggered come on what is the method in the back end that gets triggered if i hit this url come on you should not take this much time huh get get huh get that get query result set see when i ask a method you should give the method name exactly uh, i don't have any method get okay read no uh, rajwan can you hear me yeah yeah product set get entity no come on guys you are abapets and you are no not giving these answers means that's not correct products at get entity set exactly so you have only two options get entity or get entity set okay see so when i ask the method name you should give method name okay so you need to give you know the expectation is that you will give the method name exactly okay what i am asking i am asking the method name from the dpc extension class as it is so let me show you one more time see what are the methods you see once again Pro all the product related methods will have product set underscore create entity delete entity get entity get entity set get entity for one record get entity set for multiple records okay 
So if you hit like this, what is the method that gets executed? Product set, get entity set. Okay. So if I pass something within single quotes, then now, come on. Get entity. Product set underscore get entity. Okay, can't you, you know, give the complete name? Product set underscore get entity. That's it. Okay, right. Now my question, next question. So let me go to dollar metadata. Yeah. For example, if I hit like this, so which method will get it, get executed? Why are you asking? This is not a IIT question, guys. Supplier set. Supplier set. Uh, Get entity set. Get entity set. Why are you thinking, first of all? Oh, we are not uh, system. That's fine. You are not? In front of system. <laughs> in front of system. Why you need to be in front of system here? Because to read the names of the methods. No, you by this time you might have known that get entity will give one record, get entity set will give multiple records. No, you don't need the, to be in front of system. Of Result set and result. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. See, so if I hit this supplier set, it will go and hit the get entity set method of supplier set. But the get entity set method will give you all the records of the supplier suppliers. But my requirement is I want a particular products suppliers i want a particular product suppliers so from the front end when you are already displaying a product and if you want that product's details means that product's supplier details okay it's something like this in the front end i have already a purchase order displayed and by clicking of that but you know some line item or something I want to display that particular purchase order line items. So this is a very common scenario in the real time. So in our case, in the front end, I'm displaying a product. Okay, so with a list item, for example, I'm displaying the product in a list item. So or I'm displaying products in a, all the products in a list. When I click any one of the list item, when I click on any one of the product, I want to display that product to suppliers only. In that case, our navigation property will come into picture. So let us see how, how you can do this. Slash product set of product 002. So this will give only product 002 details. But I want the suppliers of product 002. In that case, you can see it is suggesting if you type slash two suppliers after this one, it is already suggesting us if you type slash slash two suppliers, if you just keep slash and then navigation property, it will take you to supplier set. Actually, it should not take you to the supplier set, but because of this navigation property, it will take you to the supplier set. And in the supplier set get entity set method, okay, it will also give you this product ID in the IT key tab. Okay, this is the primary key, right? So the primary key will go and sit in the IT key tab. Now you can read that primary key from the IT key tab and you can write a select query, select star from this supplier table where product ID equal to something. Then you will get only the suppliers of product of a particular product understood so in the front end we already dis displayed all your employee details in a list right you assume in place of your employee details list we we have displayed material list that is product list okay so we have displayed laptop we have displayed uh, washing machine we have displayed uh, uh, some other okay water filter like that when you click any one of the item in the first page in the list, you want to travel to the second page and there you want to display 
that product details along with its suppliers also okay you want to display the supplier details so the supplier details how you will get by hitting this particular url in the front end so in the front end you hit this url product set of product 002 you will get you know you will read the primary key the product id from the selected list item you will press the list item right so when you press the list item you will read the product id and you will construct this particular url and you will hit it got it okay so anyway this will take you to the get entity set of the supplier supplier entity means supplier set underscore get entity set method okay so if you want the proof you can just hit enter so now you can see it is clearly taking you to the method supplier set underscore get entity set okay and in this method it will also give you this product id prd002 in the it key tab so you can go to it key tab read this product id keep it in a uh, work area and then write the statement select start from this table pro, uh, supplier table where product id equal to something okay so that is what you need to do now let's go to the supplier set get entity set method so this is my supplier set get entity set method okay so redefine this and start writing your own code here so what i need to do i just need to write select star from z batch 44 underscore suppliers where product id equals to something okay so i don't know what is the product id at this moment but i told you the product id will come and switch in the it key tab so just like yesterday so it's an internal table which contains two columns name and value so which i i shown you the structure yesterday so if you double click also you can see so double click here you can see okay so i'm defining a work area for that data colon ls underscore key underscore tab so whose type is the line type of this one so if you go and see the line type it will be this one okay in place of t you will have yes that's it okay so now read table it underscore key underscore tab so read this table into ls underscore key underscore tab with key name of the key equal to product id okay so what else you are looking for just check if ls key tab is not initial then you write this statement select star from this table where product id equal to don't hard code ls key tab iphone value okay so this will give you the result but the result has to be sent to the front end to send to the front end again the odata framework has already given uh, a parameter which is returning data parameter the returning data parameter is et entity set and this et entity set if you see the structure it is tt underscore suppliers means it can hold it can hold multiple suppliers okay and that is what we want so select star from the table into table et underscore entity set okay activate this
So there are some errors. Let's see. I think in end if I have not written simple. I have not written end if. Arish one. Yeah. How can I debug this one uh, from front end? Yeah. Who? Uh, okay. Sure. Siva, I, I think you are the person who is asking about debug from the beginning. Okay, I will show you. <laughs> See, there are two uh, breakpoints here. So this is called session breakpoint. Okay, and this is external uh, breakpoint. Okay, fine. So uh, no, keep this uh, breakpoint uh, at whatever the line you want. One second, I think I need to be in a. Uh, it is active, right? Okay. First, let me activate it. Okay. See, when you want to uh, debug it from uh, you know on the front end, you need to uh, keep a external uh, debug point. First, go to the you non know, edit mode and uh, click this button. So now a debug point. So wherever you want, you can just keep this uh, debug point if you want here. So Again, you can keep a debug point. You know, you know how to keep a debug point. Nothing to explain over there. And just hit this URL. That's it. It will go. It will go and stop over there. Okay. See, I hit this one. See, it has stopped here. Okay. 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 And you know how to debug from here, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So put whatever F7. Uh, so those things and. Uh, so, for example, you want to see this LS key tab, okay? So you can just see this one. See, this is coming name and value. So product ID is coming product 002, okay? So that's it. What else you want? So click your fate, and now, so you are getting only the suppliers of a particular product. So we already know that product 002 ha having only two suppliers. So let us see. You got only two suppliers. Okay. I intentionally kept like first product contains only one supplier, product two contains two suppliers, product three contains three suppliers. Let us test again. Okay, but I'm just removing this debug point, otherwise it will stop again and again, and which cause little inconvenience. Okay, fine. Now let's go to the browser. I'm changing product 002 to product 001. Click enter. Only one, one supplier you should get because it is product 001. See, it is bringing you only suppliers of product 001. Okay, and we have only one. Now if I give three here, so it should bring me the suppliers of product 003 and we have three such suppliers, three suppliers. Okay, so supplier number one, this is supplier, another supplier, and this is another supplier. Got it? See, you just need to understand the concept here. The rest of the thing is not OData. The rest of the thing is ABAP only. Okay, OData is there only. When you hit the URL, it will take you, and in the OData framework, it will call you the appropriate method. Till there only OData. Understand, OData is a framework. It just take care of the URL and landing up, landing you up into the appropriate method. Once you land up in the method, it's your duty, whatever the code you write, that gets executed and it gives you the result. Understand? Question. Yeah. Can you go back to uh, uh, data and can you navigate to the property? Because uh, I know you entered uh, while creating uh, association, but uh, if I want to see uh, the navigation property uh, in the word data, so is it possible to see directly or like uh, you can see, go to the yeah. and get it done? See, in the navigation property, you can see. Two supplies. Okay. Yeah. So even in the metadata also, you can able to see. Oh, yeah, metadata. So I've shown you in the metadata also. Let me show you again. See, along with these properties, I told you another property will commence it. Oh, two okay. proper, two supplets. Okay. Okay. You're right. Fine. So this is how basically you know uh, whenever you want a 
you know the line items of a corresponding header okay so this is how you will be uh, displaying so whatever the product you have selected so if you want that product separates so you will get that product id from that product or whatever the primary key and you will append a slash and then navigation property so then it will go to the child entity and you know so whatever the logic that you have written so it has executed and it has given all the suppliers of that particular product okay all right now we have another requirement in the real time and that is it is giving the suppliers that is fine Okay, one second. See, this is giving that product details. And if I write, it is already suggesting me write slash two suppliers if you want suppliers. Okay, so if I write slash two suppliers, it is giving suppliers. But in the real time, the requirement is I want to display the product along with its suppliers at a time in the same page at a time in the same page okay i want to display its product details along with supplier details but here what is happening if you write slash two suppliers it is giving supplier details and if you write this one it is giving product details that means if i want to display product and its suppliers then First, I need to call this URL, get the product details, display it on the screen. And again, I need to call two suppliers, slash two suppliers, and then I need to display the supplier details. So that means two calls I need to do. Are you getting, getting it, guys? What I said. If I want to display product details as well as its supplier details, in that case, I need to make two calls. I need to make two calls. One is, I need to make this call, slash product. This gives me the product details. And I want the suppliers of this product. Again, I need to make another call with two suppliers. So which is giving supplier details. But if I can get both of them in a single call, it would be good, right? So for this, OData has given a out, out of the box solution and that is you just need to write, if you want both of them at a time, then you need to write like this, product set of product 002, question mark, dollar expand equal to, dollar expand equal to, now you write your navigation property so what is your navigation property where is it where is my navigation property two suppliers okay two s u p p l i e r s suppliers or supplier okay let me check two suppliers okay so if you write question mark dollar expand equal to and then navigation property so this question mark dollar expand is a out of the box solution given by your data okay you just need to write that one that's it you no need to implement any separate coding just write question mark dollar expand equal to two suppliers that is whatever the navigation property that you have created now it will bring both header along with its line items to display okay see first it shows it is you know giving the suppliers so product 002 has two suppliers and you can see at the bottom the product details also the product is mobile and the mobile suppliers you can see apple samsung got both of them in single shot in a single request you got the product along with its suppliers now you can display all at a time got it okay so basically what it is doing in the back end is it is calling two methods one is first it calls the single product set get entity okay which gives you one record 
and then it will call uh, the supplier set get entity set okay so that is why it is giving the supplier details of the corresponding product so both will be called and the result will be sent automatically to the front end and this is taken care purely by the odata framework you no need to write any coding for this okay but if you want to do this the only prerequisite is you would have already implemented the logic in the product set get entity that is you know uh, product set underscore get entity and you have written the logic in the supplier set get entity set so if you write the logic in both of them it will automatically go and execute both and give you the result okay so this is uh, one of the out of the out of the box feature fine so everything looks good so we now, have uh, we have written the code in product set uh, and uh, we have written the code in the get entity set of product as well as supplier set we have written the code in get entity set product get set entity. underscore get entity set uh, product set underscore so, get entity not get entity set get entity see uh, See, it will go and call two methods. So what is this? You are, you are, see, you are supplying product ID means you need to understand that it will go and call get entity, okay? And two suppliers, it is a plural, right? So it will go and call get entity set of suppliers. So it is calling two methods. One is get entity of products, okay? Get entity, get entity, singular, only one record. Okay, so it, product set underscore get entity, supplier set underscore get entity set okay right. so if these two methods are implemented that's fine okay right so now you have you are able to read a product along with its suppliers at a time correct fine this is very fine now i want to create a product along with its suppliers previously you have created the product so where you have created the product so in the dpc extension class can you please go on mute uh, i'm getting some background noise yeah thank you so here by implementing create entity by implementing create entity i have able to i am able to create a product Okay, so this is clearly creating a product. And uh, so you are inserting this product in the batch 44 underscore products table. This is fine. Uh, okay. This code I could not understand. I used to. Okay. Uh, who is this? Lalit. Lalit. Which code you did not understand? In the first two lines. Data and ID data provider. Okay. See, we are reading the data. See, uh, if you have, you know, in every class, I'm asking for questions, right? At the end, so if you have any doubts, you can, you know, uh, related to that one, you can, you know, so you no need to hesitate. You can stop me at that moment itself. So I, uh, you know, every. In the first day itself, I told like when, when I am explaining at that moment itself, if you don't understand, you can repeat, not a problem. Okay, or at the end of the class also, you can tell like is one, uh, can you repeat these two statements? Okay, that's not a problem. Right, see, in create entity, you are, so you are sending the data from the front end. When you are sending the data from the front end, you need to collect it. You need to read that new record, okay? To read that new record and store it somewhere you need a work area right so that's why you created ls underscore data so which is of type ts underscore products means it can store one record of products table okay and by using io data provider so what is io data provider which is a uh, odata parameter which is directly given to you okay so what it does it reads the entry data so you can see the description here entry data provider okay 
so using this one it is in this object this is basically an object it is having a method called read entry data so which will read the data that is entering from ui5 application into a predefined importing parameter called es underscore data so which is again a predefined so you need to collect that data from this one into ls underscore data which you have defined okay so now the data that you, you know that is coming from sap ui5 application or browser or gateway client so all these are same so it will come and sit here so once you got it you are inserting this in the table it's from es data to ls data yeah you are copying from es data to ls data the data first comes and uh, come and sit in es data and you are taking it from es data to ls data okay, okay. So once again, I'm requesting you guys, if you don't understand anything related to that class, so when the, at the time of teaching itself, you can stop me. Or at the end of the class, I will, I will every day I am asking you, so do you have any doubts? So at the time also, you can stop me. So you, at least you ask this question now. <laughs> After OData, I, at the last class, <laughs> if you have asked me, what is this one? It doesn't seem, you know, relevant actually so at that time i would have been teaching some other topic and if you ask this question you know that's not uh, the right time actually okay your entity is a response your entity yeah. entity you can see the description the response to the front end yes whenever you did not understand something see the description it is returning data parameter returning data parameter means it returns to the front end Okay. okay. So it is. Next one, one more question. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is there any specific meaning for LS or IT ER something like that? Uh, who is this Ranjit? Okay. Ranjit. Uh, yeah. So I understand. See, it's uh, Ranjit. You know, frankly, if you want to understand this whole data, you just need to understand only two things. Okay. One is what is work area and another one is what is internal table. If you understand these two, you can also understand O data, not a problem. Okay. Okay. I'll just tell you. See, internal table means it's a table kind of. It can store some uh, data at runtime. It can store uh, some set of records. It can store some set of records as per you know the uh, data type that you have defined. This is the internal table. Understand? Now let's say I want to store one record of this particular table. So you assume this like a our products table. This is a products table. If you want to store one record, this can store multiple records. I want to store only one record. In that case, you go for a work area. Okay. This is work area. So remember all the work area, any, whenever you find LS, it stands for local structure. Local structure means work area. It can store only one record. Just remember, wherever okay. you see LT, LT stands for local table. So it stands for internal table. Okay. Or whenever you see ER stands for R stands for one record, exporting record. Okay. So if you see ET exporting table, that means you are sending, you know, a table data to the front end, means multiple records to the front end. Exporting okay. table, exporting record. Okay. So that's it, nothing else actually. You are playing with either work area or internal table, that's it. Half of the ABAP is over with internal table and work area only. Okay, okay. if you want, okay. you can ask ABAP, ABAPers who are already in the class. Okay. And especially for OData, you no need to know all the ABAP. You just need to know only this, you know, the basic data type definition, 
an internal table work area this is sufficient okay right so basically what i am saying here when you when you are creating this material sorry uh, product you are creating only the product only the product is getting created only the product is getting created but not its supplets i am not able to create supplets but in the real time this is a compulsory scenario in the real time okay 90% 90% of the projects definitely have this scenario and that is you need to create a entity along with its line items also okay so in our case in the example which we have taken we need to create a product and at the time of creation of the product itself i i should be able to create the, its suppliers doesn't matter how many suppliers it is okay so in the front end what we do we give the facility to the end user first to fill the product form okay so let's assume this is a product id product name product description so the end user will fill all this and we provide a table at the bottom and in this table you will provide a plus button at the top we will provide a plus button at the top uh, and we can give you know the description as add suppliers okay so we give description as add suppliers okay and these are the columns so and understand you know i'm giving you end to end scenario so that you can understand so first you fill the product details here okay so this is a single product only you will create a product one product now by clicking plus button you can add as many rows you want okay there is no rule that you have to create only one supplier the moment you click plus another row will get added and again if you click plus another row will gets added so like this the rows will be keep on adding okay the rows will be keep on adding now you will provide the submit button the same submit button that you have already uh, so to create the you know the single product the whatever the submit button we have the same submit button you can use so here we have the save or submit button the moment you click submit button the requirement is to take both this single product data and multiple suppliers data and at one shot you need to go to the back end and you need to create this material along with its line items also this is the requirement so for this one in order to achieve this one we cannot achieve by using either create entity of the material or create entity of supplier we cannot achieve with both of these methods so let me show you it is not possible to achieve with create entity of product or create entity of supplier not possible Be why why it is not possible because from the front end whatever the data that is coming it will come and sit in you know through io data provider and io data provider is having uh, you know uh, so read entry data method and this read entry data method whatever this method so this method is having uh, one second parameters check the uh, yeah, sorry sir. yeah yeah so you can see es underscore data here this particular es underscore data and uh, this es underscore data can give you only the material data even though you send uh, you know even though you send product along with its suppliers also it can capture only only product data it will leave behind the supplier data 
okay so that is the problem with this one okay so let us go go back and even if you write the code in supplier create entity for example even the supplier create entity will take only one single supplier data even though you send multiple suppliers okay it can, it, it won't touch your product it won't touch it cannot read your product data it can touch only the supplier and the two one record but you are supplying multiple supplier records and product record also then it is also waste so the conclusion is you cannot implement in this one and you cannot implement in this one also in this particular case so in the real time also remember guys if you want to perform CRUD operations on those entities only then you can go ahead and write your code in these in in these methods that is fine but in the real time if your requirement is to create something along with its line items also at a time then this particular odata framework has given another method and that method is called create deep create deep entity so i will just show you that method so this is the method create deep entity okay so create deep entity is the one so which we need to redefine and we need to write the code so this particular create deep entity uh, before we use this create deep entity method we need we also need to do some you know prerequisite steps so those prerequisite steps will help you to define your own structure because as of now whatever the structures your model provider class has created none of the structure is having a kind of structure which can accept both header as well as line items both header as well as line items so such a structure you don't have so you need to define your own structure and in that structure uh, you know you prepare you you define the structure by using types 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 so you define one row one structure for the product and uh, you know a internal table for a supplier so combinedly into a one structure and the data will come and sit in that structure and you will separate the product into product table and line item into line items table so which we will see in tomorrow's class so even though you don't understand this statement don't worry so it is just uh, a hint for the tomorrow's class that's it so in tomorrow again that will be repeated so in today's class it is enough if you understand that in this particular scenario you cannot go with plain uh, create entity and you know create entity of the header or the create entity of the line item it is not sufficient uh, to write in those two methods you must and should have to go for the create deep insert only okay so remember that one so in most of the real time projects uh, so i have seen this requirement and we have implemented create deep insert and we call uh, that one from the front end okay so how to do that so how to create a material along with its line items the same method can also be used for suppliers sorry uh, for update update of the material along with its uh, suppliers because we use modify statement instead of insert so the same you know method we use for create and update both okay right so that will see in tomorrow's class okay yesterday we did not got the video as well as the code the code uh, you know you can find the code in the server guys okay so only for ui5 project uh, i will be sending the code so for uh, odata project you can log in you can see this this one in the long you know you can log in here you have the project here okay so your project is already in the remote server so that's the reason we are not sending okay so come here and check this code so otherwise i need to go to the individual methods and copy that and give it to you because i cannot download this just like your ui5 i cannot download this okay so go here and just check whatever the code that you want to check okay at the end of the class uh, do not understand the codes instead at the end <clears throat> at the end uh, 
what what you do the study class uh, and how to move that from product to product base to the ls data to ls data work here that into ls uh, underscore product to uh, from work area to lt underscore product that we could not understand understand the style uh, the concept but we did not understand the code okay we did not understand the code see that is just a moving of you know internal table to your work area and from work area to appending work area to the internal table are are you above or lalit or maybe fresher kind of yeah okay uh, lalit you do and then you call me i will explain you know what what is happening step by step okay I will, I will explain how from which work area to which work area it is going. So everything I will explain. Okay. Arija. Yes, uh, Shiva. Uh, actually, we didn't get last year class video. Also, yeah, that's. I, I, I'll, I'll send both of them at a time. Okay. Now. Okay. So okay. okay. Half an hour. I'll send. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, fine, guys. Uh, we'll meet in tomorrow's class with create deep insert where we are going to create the product along with its line items. Have a nice day. Bye bye.